Good evening, everyone. This is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna talk about an another persistence API, which is called uh, Clear. Okay, let's just uh, go directly go to the demo. What does Clear do? Clear just uh, make sure when you call Clear, all the managed object inside the cache will be detached. Okay. Suppose you are using detach, it can only detach one object, right? And when you click clear, all the object in the cache is gonna be detached. We only show you, uh, sorry, uh, here I already have the demo set up already, um, the structure code, okay? And uh, here I persist an object book. As we know, this book gonna be in the cache, right? And we can do is yes, using system out three plus em dot content p a book. We will see this one gonna return true because persist will make a book to be in the cache. And now we do one operation em dot clear. And after clear, we will output four. And we will call em dot contains again. You will see uh, false. Okay, let's take a look at. I have to run from here. Okay, it's done, and let's take a look at. Eh? Uh, you know what? Why nothing? It only has a create. It only has a create table. Why? Because I didn't call this method. Okay, I have to call man dot clear. Okay, and run one more time. I was thinking why it has nothing there. Okay, good, very, very good. Okay, oh, here has a problem. Did you see? Here, this is the, the problem is caused by what is caused by the uh, update uh, happened. Uh, the changes are pushed to uh, to the database before the before we make a query or when we commit or when we do the flash and take a look at this one. This is gonna be something very interesting. Okay, when we persist, as we know, this is uh, what this is uh, assigned ID. And uh, for assigned ID, when we assign the primary key, when we persist, it will not make a query to the database. So in this case, when we persist, it's gonna be hold in the cache, right? And then between one and two, you will see no statement. And then between two and three, we check the if the uh, cache contains a book, and you will see true because persist will make a book to be in the cache. And then between three and four, we make a clear. Clear, what does clear do? Clear will detach all objects in cache. Okay, detach will, uh, de uh, clear will detach all objects in the cache. So when we print four and the contents again, it will see false. It will see false, and then now when we commit, since there's nothing in the in the cache, nothing in the cache. Okay, all the objects is detached, so we don't have a book saved in the database. This probably is not the behavior you want. So most of the time, before you make clear, we want to you make a flash. Okay to solve this kind of problem because we actually want to have a book saved, right? But when we run like this, there's no book saved. So before we make a clear, we suggest you to make a, a, a flash to make sure all the changes are pushed to the database, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna have this problem. Flash, and we make another uh, system out. 
five, and then we're using oh sorry four, and here is five. Okay, so between three and four, you will see the book gonna be insert, and when you clear, just detach everything. Okay, and then when we commit, we don't have uh, the changes lost. Okay, run. So be aware when you when you directly uh, call the clear, it's gonna have the problem. Okay, as we showed before. Take a look at this one. Uh, when we persist and between three and four, when we flash, it's gonna make an insert. If we don't flash, all your changes gonna be lost if you're directly using a clear. So be aware of this part. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.